so are we all set? They said they'd cut me off. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, I figured they'd give you a hard time. Yeah, but... they gave me a hard time, all right. Dad gave me his usual speech about family duty. Blood is thicker than water, Audrey. If you don't have us, you have nothing. But going to New York doesn't mean you're giving them up. For them, college is the first step on my way to becoming exactly what they want me to be. Leaving college is a rejection of all that. My dad said they won't support me financially if I drop out. If I go, that's it. Damn. I'm sorry. Dad gave me another option, though. I don't have to be an accountant if I don't want to. I could marry a nice young man instead, and he's even got one picked out. An up-and-coming realtor from a family from down the block. I could let him support me, and I wouldn't have to work at all. Yeah, my parents had a guy like that in mind for me. His parents owned one of the best restaurants in Nassau County, apparently. I wouldn't know. I didn't show up to our blind date. I don't want to end up with someone from five seconds from down the block. That's what my parents did. I don't want that. And you shouldn't have to do that. Then my mom came on the line for a second. She wasn't angry. It's like she was ashamed of me. I'm really disappointed in you, Audrey. What about your brother and sister? Kathy will go along with whatever my parents say, and Luke never wants to make waves. I'm sorry. Is that all you can think of to say? No. I mean... I'm sorry I talked you into this. I didn't mean to put you in this position. Zoe, you didn't make me do anything. No, but I went on and on about my screwed up family. I didn't mean to project onto yours or whatever. Yeah, well, my family clearly has problems of its own. I don't know what to do. Well, you don't have to decide right now. At least here isn't up till the end of September. You can stay here with me for the summer until then. What am I even deciding between? If I don't go to New York, what's the alternative? Go back home, marry that guy, and have his kids? I get that, I do. But don't take this decision lightly either. They set a full cutoff, right? You wanna know something funny? Growing up, we were that family that all wore matching outfits on vacation. My mom would do my hair and Kathy's in the same awful braids. I'd always rip them out because she would make them so tight. And I would get yelled at every time for ruining them. Nobody could look out of place. Why is that funny? Every time I tried to do anything that made me feel like myself, they shut it down. Or they made me feel stupid or like I was doing something wrong. I just feel like I should have known. They were never going to let me go my own way. None of this is your fault. Yeah, I guess. No, you don't have to let them make you feel stupid or unworthy. You shouldn't have to earn their love. 